Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I have a video regularly showing you what I've been working on in my craft room. And today is no different. I've been working with Stampin' Up!'s Countryside Corners dies. Um, last video um, I made, I made these cute little treat packets with the Countryside Corners dies. So if you um, if you missed that, let me know and I will get you a link to that video. Today I'm going to show you a handmade greeting card I made with those dies and the Countryside um, in designer series paper it was made for a swap with my team and it's a fun little pocket card so enough um chatting let me pop you down to my workspace and i'll show you what i've been working on get you a little view of my ceiling fan here in arizona see if i can get that um switched down there we go now we're down to um my workspace so this is the fun card that i'm going to show you how to make today um it's a pocket card so you'll just slip that little note out of the pocket and write on it it's um just one one sided there um so let me show you the first of all the countryside um Corners dies. These, this is what they look like. So there are several, several different sizes. Um, and I'll show you which ones I used for this project. I also used the go to greetings. This is in Stampin' Up's annual catalog, as, um, as is um, everything I am working with today. So I love this stamp set because it's, it contains everything I need, the birthday, the thinking of you, thank you, just a note, hello. So I pull this out uh, a lot when, um, when I'm making cards that I use every day. And then I am going to be using the Petal Park stamp set in coordination with the Petal Park Builder Punch to create um, this fun little pocket card. So let me bring in my card ingredients. And I have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock measuring five and one quarter by four inches. Um, these measurements are on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com if you um, aren't writing that down. So you'll be able to see that. This is um, a piece of our basic white cardstock measuring five and a quarter by four. And it is... I'm sorry, I, this is five and a half by four and a quarter. Five and a half by four and a quarter, the Knight of Navy base. The basic white is five and a quarter by four, and I've run it through the time-worn type 3D embossing folder. You can kind of, it's, I like that because it's just subtle. It's not real, real bumpy or real heavy. Then I have... Um, then I've gone ahead and pre-cut a piece of the Countryside in Designer Series paper from that largest of the dies. So that's that right there. And then I've used the third largest to cut a piece of the balmy blue. And that's what we'll be stamping on. So we have those ingredients. And I also do have a piece of uh, just the white so that I can stamp on it and get the flowers ready. One thing I'm quickly going to do before I get rid of my trimmer, um, bring my trimmer in. And uh, if you can see this, this is the cutting and this is the scoring. Uh, I love it because it's all on one track and you don't have to take it out and try over. Um, so I am just going to put in the countryside corner die um, at the one and a half mark. Right here's my one and a half inch mark. And I'm going to score it just right here. I wanna make sure that um, the larger parts on the bottom, um, let me, I'll fold it down for you. Um, and where I, my bone folder is not within reach. So then I'm just, folding that and I, we will tape it down here shortly. So let me get rid of that. So that is ready to go. I'll just put, um, 
Oh, a little bit of my stamp and seal plus, and you can see we've already we've already made our our little pocket. So you'll just put a little adhesive and place that down. The next thing is we'll um, the five and a quarter by four basic white that's run through the time worn type three D embossing folder. I will put that on the five and a half by four and a quarter base. I apologize for those directions. And then let's just put the pocket on front of the card. So what I'm going to do is bring in my glue. Um, you'll wanna be careful with the glue. First of all, sometimes glue comes out really fast and I have a tendency to make a mess. But I'm just going to make a little line down each side and the bottom. You do not want to glue the folded piece or that top piece because then you won't be able to get your little tag in there. So um, we'll put some glue there and I just pick it up by that end and place it on the front of my card, kind of leaving a little border and giving it a good, a good press so that the glue, the glue holds there. Okay. All right. Let's do, um, let's do some stamping. Let's do our flowers first. I like to bring in my stamp and pierce mat for the photopolymer stamps. I have my basic white. I have my knight of navy and I will give the the little the three flowers and these are two step flowers but I'm not going to use the outline border I'm just going to use the kind of the filled in full image I like that better and you can experiment and do what works for you um so I'm just gonna press down evenly and firmly and get that going Make sure to close my knight of navy ink pad all right, then here's the coordinating punch, Stampin' Up's uh, Petal Park Builder Punch. Um, and when you hold these punches, um, I, you're, they're basically upside down so you can see the image where you're punching. And when you have all the images lined up, just give it a good press and out pop your three, your three flower images. Now I'm only going to use this one However, um, save the others, and I'm sure you can find a project to use those flowers for. Um, set that here. So this, I'm gonna, I'm going to have my flower when I adhere. It's going to be right there. But in the meantime, I just want to set it there so I know where to put my just a note. And remember, the just a note comes from that go-to greeting stamp set. So I kind of want a little bit of the um, sentiment to pop up. That was a bad place to put that. I love the grid paper because I can practice and see how that's going to stamp. All right, so I'm just going to come in here, um, eye it up. That's how I work best. Um, just give it a nice press, straight down, no rocking. All right, that turned out perfectly. So then let's just grab um, some of my glue dots here. And I'll put the glue dots on the bottom side of the flower petals um, so that um, I don't, I don't get adhesive on the top when glue the, glue that to the, to the paper because we want that, um, just like that, uh, we want that to slide in and out. So I'm gonna just use my pick tool to get rid of that. I went got a little zealous with the glue dots. So I'll pull that off, so we won't have any stickies. All right, so that's going to go like that. Let's see. So we could add, let's add one of these iridescent basic pearls. They are new in the annual catalog this year. So with my pick tool, I'm just going to pull one off and put it in the center of the flower. You could um, color that with Knight of Navy Stampin' Blends if you wanted to, to make it match. But I kind of like the... Um, that look there. Then I'm bringing in the balmy blue variegated um, ribbon. 
And um, if you remember, this is what the card looks like. I'll be tying a bow to place on the front of the card. So I'm just going to do a bunny ear bow and I hope I have myself enough ribbon. Otherwise I'll do another kind. And hopefully I can do this in one try so you don't have to painstakingly watch me make a bow, but um, there we go. So I'm just gonna, I'll pull the, pull the ed, the ends and the, get the, the pieces where I want. Um, pull it nice and tight. Oh, then I ended up with a big loop. Sometimes you just, it takes a bit to fool with it to get it exactly where you want it. And I don't have to be that precise. So then I'm just going to grab one of the glue dots again. Here's the glue dot. Always have a big tail on there. Okay, so um, what you do is you put your bow to the glue dot. I'm going to put it right on the knot that I've made, maybe two, and pull it right off. And then you can put it on the front of your card wherever you wish, and then trim... Um, trim the pieces. So we'll just give that a quick little trim. So this was the card that I prepared for my team swap. Stay tuned, there's going to be a video showing all the swaps um, that I've received lately. And so I just wanted to show you quick how that card went together. Cute little pocket card using Stampin' I, Stampin' Up's Country Side Corners dies. They're a real uh, flexible die cuts and you will be seeing me use them even um, even more in the future. So look for me online at kimplayswithpaper.com for some directions and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how this goes together or if you want to be um, if you want to see the video for the treat packet using those dies. So thank you very much everyone for watching today. Um, Happy stamping and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.